never come up with a treatment plan because we're too busy on this rat race. You know, efficiency at some point, and I think we're at that point in dentistry, based on current technology, now it'll change, I'm sure of it, and I hope so, but efficiency is another marketing term for putting you, the dentist, further and further on the hamster wheel of the rat race. We've been misled to believe that dentistry, more specifically the dental business, has to be complicated. Dentistry can be simple and dentistry should be simple. Welcome back to this week's episode of the Dentistry Made Simple podcast. I'm your host, T-Bone, and this week I am not joined by my co-host, Meredith Cooper-Jones. She's out, so you get me only. Listen, this week, here's what I want to talk to you about. I want to talk to you about a word that should be like a four-letter word in your vocabulary. Growing up, even though English is my second language, I was always taught in Southern America that four-letter words typically meant bad words. And the word I'm talking about this week is efficiency. I think of efficiency as a four-letter bad word in dentistry. Now, that doesn't mean I want to be slow. That doesn't mean I want to be any of those things. But I want us to think about how we're being sold and the concept of efficiency. Now, before I get there, let's talk a little bit. Why is this important to me? I hear this over and over and over again from so many of you. You feel that your practice is chaotic, it's overwhelmed, it's out of control, the inmates are running the asylum. I'm here to tell you that efficiency is doing this to us. We're being sold efficiency as the savior when really efficiency isn't the savior. Now, let me get into this and give you some examples. What are we sold that is more efficient? Anything where somebody tells you, if you buy this or implement this, you can see one more patient because you're gonna save time, turn around and run away. Truthfully, while you're driving, keep one hand on the steering wheel and raise your hand with the other hand if you want to see more patients in your practice. I'm gonna keep both hands on my steering wheel because I do not wanna see more patients in my practice. In fact, what I want to do is see less patients in my practice. And for those of you that have been following me for so many years, those of you that have come to the retreat and joined us here at 3D Dentist, you know that is our mantra, less patience, less patience, work smarter, not harder. So I'll give you an example. Uh, we've been sold bulk composites. Doctor, you can do composites so much faster because you can now bulk fill all your composites and get done quicker. Oh, doctor, you can buy this curing light. It's gonna cure in three seconds. Imagine you're gonna save 17 seconds each time you cure. And by the end of the year, that's like three hours of your life that you're gonna save. Or more recently, we're sold that we can now mill products, mill you know, ceramics, zirconia in five minutes and that's life changing and that's why we should buy XYZ product. Now, I'm not saying those products aren't good. I'm not saying they don't have their place but they're being sold to us or and or we're taking it as, oh my God, I can see one more patient. And the truth is, does it actually change your schedule? And the answer is no. If something used to take me 10 minutes to mill and now it takes me five minutes to mill, I'm not scheduling any differently. And frankly speaking, if you're scheduling five minute increments, there's something not right with you. You know, if I, can, if I can cure a composite in two three-second lights versus two 20-second lights, and I save, what is that, 34 seconds on a single composite, are you scheduling any different? The answer is no. You know, and, and so instead, what we've been doing for so many years is we've been scheduling tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter. Because of all this technology and efficiencies, that it creates for us. Now, I'm not saying it doesn't create it. I'm not saying I haven't benefited from, from the, the efficiencies and of all technology. I'm not even, look, I love technology. But what I have not allowed technology to do is to dramatically change the way I schedule. And here is the opportunity cost of falling into this trap. Here's what happens when you tight, schedule tightly you don't have room to work in patients. 
And instead, what you're doing is you're just cramming more into an already crammed schedule. Because the truth is, we've got to see patients. If I got a root canal from you a couple of days ago and it's hurting and it's throbbing, I expect you to see me. You know, if, if you've got a patient that you did a crown on or a filling on that's high in occlusion, I don't want to see you, I don't want to wait two weeks to get that fixed. We've got to work people in. It's just part of the game. And these are unplanned procedures. So if you have to work in unplanned things into a tightly planned day, it just doesn't work. It's never the right time or the right moment. And we create all, these, all this drama around it. The other thing I hear over and over and have experienced myself in my own practice is the days that I have the least number of patients on my schedule are the days I do my best hygiene exams, my best consultations, my best diagnosis and connection with patients. Yeah, I know it to be true. And you know it to be true too. So if you keep cramming your schedule, keep getting tighter and tighter and tighter because you can cure faster, because you can mill zirconia in five minutes instead of 10 to 12 minutes, because you can bulk fill a composite versus layer a composite, and you can change your schedule by one minute, or you can see one more patient a day, you're just not going to do the exams as good as you're going to do. The other thing you're not going to do is you're not going to do complex treatment planning. You know, how many times have we seen a patient and we say, let me put some mind, let me put my mind to that. Let me think about this. Let me kind of come up with a treatment plan. And we never come up with a treatment plan because we're too busy on this rat race. You know, efficiency at some point, and I think we're at that point in dentistry based on current technology. Now, it'll change, I'm sure of it, and I hope so. But efficiency is another marketing term for putting you, the dentist, further and further on the hamster wheel of the rat race. Roller skates, that's what they should be calling it. If I, somebody came to you and said, I wanna sell you a pair of roller skates for your practice, you'd say, hell no. But yet we're getting sold this efficiency mantra. Hey, I can make you more efficient. You can see one more patient a day. And the truth is, is most of us don't need to see one more patient a day. Instead, make your schedule Swiss cheese because then you have opportunity to work in that emergency, opportunity to do better exams, opportunity to do better treatment planning where you sit with your treatment coordinator and plan. I, for example, this morning I went into the office uh, for, for a visit and I had an extra 30 minutes of my schedule and I treatment planned $30,000 worth of dentistry on existing patients. I'm not trying to say that braggadociously, but if I were busy, I would have just pushed that off. I said, oh, let's do that Monday. And then Monday I would have been busy and let's do that Tuesday. And that's just that much longer we wait to get back to the patient. The other thing, and one of the most important things that I think that we don't realize that having such a packly tight schedule does to us, it takes us away from coaching our team members. We have got to coach our team members. We've got to be leaders in our practice and coach the habits that we want. I spent yesterday, I spent an hour of time working with my treatment coordinator working through what does a case look like, how do I want you to bring this to me. Walk, I asked her, walk me through how you present financials to a patient, and we did some coaching on this. I worked with one of my assistants on how they're doing, how they're bringing the emergency patient in, what's going on, what are they doing. I was like, hey, stop talking so much. Now let's get to the records first, then you can do all the conversations. There's so much value in spending time coaching. I'll argue, while you don't see a direct production from the coaching, you see a long-term increase in productivity by coaching your team members. The other thing that's having a Swiss cheese schedule, but while yet being productive, I'm not saying be Swiss cheese and not pay the bills. I'm saying the Swiss cheese comes from, you know, kind of slowing down a little bit. It's kind of, which comes first, the cart or the horse, right? Um, is, is having this extra time has allowed me to learn software. For me, example, I've spent a lot of time over the last year learning how to use ExoCAD. And what has ExoCAD given me? Now I can plan, design, and print my surgical guides. I can plan, design, and print uh, my cosmetic planning. Uh, I can do co cosmetic uh, uh, simulations. I can do night guard design. I can do denture design. I can do hybrid design. All of these things that reduce the friction, reduce the barriers of getting treatment started. And you've heard me talk about this in the past. So stop getting sold a bag of goods. You know, next time somebody sells you something, me included, I want you to ask a simple question. What problem are you trying to solve? And if you can't figure out the problem, it's not time to buy it. And if the problem is, hey, I want to buy more time, don't buy something that says you can see one more patient. That's not buying you time. That's making your time even 
more hectic. Hope you've enjoyed this week's episode. If you want to take control of your schedule, get out of the chaos, make that practice exactly what you want it to be, you owe it to yourself and your team and your patients to join the 3D Mastermind. It's an application-only event. It's run twice per year. If you're interested, you want to learn more about it, reach out to Meredith or reach out to our website and click the application. I promise you this, it will change the way you practice dentistry. See you guys next week.